Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I would like to share with you well, the start of a short series of videos and they are going to be named How I. So today it's going to be how I apply my makeup base and then throughout the week I will share with you for example how I do my eye uh, look, how I apply my brows, how I apply my uh, face or cheek products and so on and so on. Now some of these products, a majority of them uh, are brand new products as well. So it's going to be how I apply my makeup but also um, sharing with you new products as well. Now the base products that I'm going to be sharing with you today are not new. Um, they are old favourites and the reason is is because these are products that really I cannot live without. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Matte uh, Foundation in the shade Natural Rose. I just love this so much. I have recently done a couple of videos um, where I was wearing the Kat Von D foundation and to be honest yes I do like that foundation it is you know quite full coverage which is what I like but it every time I touched my face and this is what I found with a lot of foundations is that you then get it on your hands it's very easily transferable whereas the L'Oreal I don't have that problem it sets to it is matte although to be honest because I've got quite an oily t-zone I still get some um, oiliness but it's not as bad um, it gives me an airbrushed finished um, or finish and I love the price which is I think $8.99 or I usually purchase on the three for two offer at Boots or Superdrug the next product is well fantastic and it is the makeup revolution pro hd camouflage conceal palette this is eight pounds i believe from tanbeauty.com or superdrug uh, the packaging looks like that and obviously all links and so forth will be down below for you uh, inside the palette has a lovely big mirror and obviously you get eight shades i'm using this one at the moment and i'm really loving the consistency of this it is very, very similar um, to the Freedom Makeup London um, Pro Camouflage Paste. Very, very near to that. Um, not quite as opaque, but very, very close. I love it. Um, it lasts really well on my face. And yeah, I absolutely love this product. So I'm going to start off with the concealer. I'm using the Wilco brush that I usually use. I find this brush absolutely invaluable to apply concealer and carve out the brow as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of product underneath the eye, um, just on this area here. Um, I know that a lot of people do put their concealer on after their foundation, but this is what works for me. Um, I do have obviously light skin, uh, a light skin tone, but I do have quite translucent skin as well. So um, I do have, and obviously everybody does, veins around this area. And that is what gives me my darkness around the eye because it, the veins actually show through the skin. So I just conceal them like this. And obviously I'm looking down into my mirror here. Um, I just conceal that and it then really does work very well when I apply the foundation over the top. And of course, I want to cover up this spot here, which has been very, very troublesome over the last week. I don't get many spots, but when I do, I always tend to have the really huge, painful spots. So that's the concealing done. And obviously, I'm not going to edit this video at all. If you want to follow along, with um, with me, you can certainly do so. Um, now, what I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to be using the um, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I'm also going to be applying that with my Primark silicone sponge. Now this was only two pounds for a pack of two of these silicone sponges. And I'm finding this also invaluable because it applies the foundation. Not, I'm not wasting any product. Um, and I'm really, really loving these. Obviously there are other silicone sponges out there. I would have purchased any of those, to be honest. I know Makeup Revolutions um, 
silicon sponge has recently become available and I do like the look of that um, but to be honest I didn't want to spend too much money on something that I may not have liked so I went for this one and it really is working for me so rather than putting the product on the back of my hand which is what I usually would have done if I was applying it with a brush I then put a little bit of the product on there like that start off with a tiny amount and just um, apply that or dot it onto the skin however you would like and then I just then put that all over the skin and then obviously just add another drop like I say, you're not wasting any of the product. It really does um, apply the product very, very well. I'm just gonna put my hair out of the way. Um, and I find that a little foundation goes a long, long way. Now what the only thing I do find that is a little bit troublesome with this uh, product is that it doesn't blend the foundation into a lot of the areas like around the eyes, the nose area um, and the neck area as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the product on and then I will go in with a makeup brush or foundation brush. So I just need a little bit more on the forehead. I think, don't think a little bit more on the nose area. And although yes, you can press it in, it just doesn't, especially around the nostril area, it just doesn't, um, cover evenly around that area so I've popped on as much product as I want to use at the moment now I'm swapping to one of these um, it's just a brush that I picked up from eBay I think it was a pack of seven or eight and yeah I really really like these so I'm just going to now just blend that in I always go down to the bottom of my neck, just blend it all in and I then pop a little bit on the back of my hand because I've not put any on the eyes. And I'm just going to add now the product on the eye area. Now I always put foundation all over the eye. Um, and I use this foundation as a base. Now, when I was doing my tutorial a couple of days ago where I was adding the Kat Von D foundation, I actually found that the Kat Von D foundation broke up and it was like it split. There was like product um, and then oil on the eyelid. And I really, really um, didn't like that. It didn't work well to, you know, use that product as a base um, at all. So that's that. I'm just going to obviously do the forehead a little bit better. And I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more under the eye. I think that's okay. Um, now, since I don't know if it is the uh, Kat Von D foundation that's caused this, 
but on this side of my eye I have got it's like eczema where you get dry skin and it's all over my eyelid and I haven't used the Kat Von D foundation for a long time so I don't know if it's that I don't know if it's just this hot weather that we're having I really don't know what it is so I think what I'm going to do is I I'll obviously be testing out products over the next few weeks once that's cleared up just to see what caused that um, okay so that's done I think <laughs> I think it's done let me just conceal sometimes because I I really like the under eye concealed very very well um, I'm just going to go in with sometimes I find that um, obviously if you use a brush over the eye it just um, doesn't distribute the product how I would like so that's better obviously I want it natural but I don't want it to show a lot of my flaws so basically that is the base totally complete so I have applied uh, the concealer I have applied the foundation and then so that's everything so tomorrow um, I will be sharing with you my brow routine and then I'll be moving on to the eyes and the face these are going to be like I say short uh, videos of certain stages of my makeup and obviously you've seen from the title that they are called how I so today's was how I apply foundation so I really hope that you're finding this series helpful that you like the concept of it um, I really like watching these types of videos because I do tend to find that I want a natural looking makeup but I want it to be easy um, and I want I don't want to use lots and lots of brushes I don't want to necessarily uh, my makeup to be up to you know a really really high standard um, I want it to be my standard which is you know what I like um, to wear I want it to be natural I want it to cover up my flaws um, I just want it to um, you know be you know the way I do makeup and I just wish there was more people on YouTube that did a more natural look and not necessarily this full face um, of makeup that looks you know it looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup um, and I don't necessarily like that look I mean it works on a lot of people and looks fantastic but it's not it's uh, makeup I want um, makeup to like I say look natural but I want to be able to wear makeup on a daily basis that works for me and I want to look like that every single day um, and I also if I'm in a rush I want it still to be good so I really really hope that helped you if you want to obviously follow along uh, with these uh, tutorials and thumbs up if you're enjoying it or um, you're liking the idea of the series or of course you just want to support me so like I say a lot of people have asked me to do my brows and that I want to share with them how I do my brows and that is what's coming up next so thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate all the lovely comments and I would really appreciate to um, read your views and your ideas with this series but thank you so much for watching until next time thank you bye